one of the coolest things in biology, it's actually like mind blowing. People sell this thing called a biosphere, right? And what it is is, I, I desperately want one for my desk, but basically it's a little glass ball, like a three dimensional glass ball that is sealed, right? No air comes in or out. And inside of it are, that's a good picture, plants. This is gonna be even better. And shrimps. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty accurate shrimp. And the, like my first inclination when I heard about this was that shrimp is going to die immediately. In fact, I, like within minutes, right? And for that matter, I don't know how the plants will lie. The whole thing's confusing. They should both die immediately. But actually, when you look at, and, and this is going to get like pretty deep, but when you look at what plants do and what animals do, this is what it comes down to. Everybody's heard of photosynthesis, right? And that's when basically the, uh, the plant takes energy from the sun, plus they need a little water. We know that because we actually water plants in our house and carbon dioxide, right? That's the basic formula for photosynthesis. And what do they produce, right? They actually produce oxygen and they also produce, you've heard of sugar, C6H12, O6, which is glucose, right? And, um, and, and that's what happens in photosynthesis. So plants take energy from the sun and water and CO2 and they make oxygen and, and sugar. But what's crazy is, and like, I remember when this hit me, I was like practically gonna tear up because it's such a beautiful concept. If you look at what animals need, animals need oxygen, plus they absolutely need sugar glucose, C6H12O6. And what do we spit out? We spit out CO2, right? Plus water, you wouldn't know that. In respiration, water is a byproduct. It's not totally obvious. I'm not, I don't spit out water all the time, right? And that is uh, basically, uh, an energy is exhausted. This is like the most poetic concept in the world. These are exact inverses of one another, if you look at this. And so it turns out if you get the balance right and you put enough shrimp in this glass ball and enough plants, they will literally give each other what they need for generations. I mean, that's very hard to find that balance and I'm sure these are very expensive. But basically the shrimp will give oxygen to the plant and water, right? And the, and the excuse me, CO2 and, and water to the plant. And the plant will give this, uh, this little shrimp oxygen and even sugar, glucose. And this is perpetual. And so it's amazing how important these two organisms are for one another. And it also explains the origins of a little biosphere like that maybe you've heard of. It's called, I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. It's called like planet Earth. There's North and South America, right? All we do, all we live on is this glass ball that could sit on my desk that's slightly bigger. I mean, a few degrees bigger. And it is a biosphere. We have an absolute glass casing around it, which is the atmosphere. Nothing really ultimately comes or goes besides energy does come in, which is this energy needed here. And, and that's what it is. And so animals and plants are so codependent, it's actually shocking. And I think it's a really beautiful concept. And when you learn about it, when I first learned about it, I saw these numbers and symbols and was like, okay, you know, I have baseball after school. I'm pretty much gonna check out like starting now. This is like painful to look at. And it's not, it's a really, it's a, such a cool concept. And so I found out that the, they sell these and that didn't happen until I was a little older, but it's really interesting that that's a tiny microcosm for exactly what's happening on our planet. And I don't need to get all deep about, oh, do you think potentially we should, should these shrimp like start deforesting <laughs> these uh, little plants in their biosphere? Wouldn't that be hilarious if that started happening, right? And then we had to put bumper stickers on cars saying, don't cut down your plant, shrimp, because this thing is gonna fail, right? And, and I don't, you know, this isn't like doom and gloom, but it is interesting how interconnected and how important these things are for one another. And I think it's a really cool idea. Again, one thing in, in science that is butchered by boring textbooks, but it's not boring at all. It's actually super cool, the concept of a biosphere, by the way, this is photosynthesis and this is respiration back and forth. That's what the two organisms do. 
Anyways, if you're struggling with your biology class at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, get your credits there, and have it transferred back.